So, you know about the internet, right? The regular stuff we all use every day, social media, online shopping, all that jazz. But there's this whole other side to it, the dark web. It's like the internet's twisted cousin, where things get real weird, real fast. So there I was, bored out of my mind one night, just scrolling through the usual sites when I stumbled upon this forum talking about the dark web. Now I've heard all the stories about it. Illegal stuff, shady dealings, you name it. But I was feeling adventurous, you know, so I did what any curious soul would do. I fired up my trusty VPN, opened up Tor and dove headfirst into the depths of the dark web. At first it was kind of exciting. I was browsing through all these hidden websites, seeing things I never thought I'd see. But then things started to take a creepy turn. I stumbled upon this site that was selling all sorts of messed up stuff, weapons, drugs, even people. I quickly clicked away from that, feeling a chill run down my spine. But I couldn't shake the feeling of curiosity. I kept digging deeper, clicking on link after link until I found myself on a site that seemed different from the rest. It was called The Abyss, and it claimed to be a portal to the unknown. The more I read about it, the more intrigued I became. The site had this weird interface, like something out of a sci-fi movie. There were all these buttons and switches and a chat box popped up, prompting me to enter a message. So, I typed out a simple hello and hit send, not really expecting anything to happen. But then, to my surprise, someone responded almost immediately. They called themselves The Guide, and they claimed to be the curator of the abyss. They told me that I was about to embark on a journey unlike any other, one that would test my courage and push me to my limits. I was skeptical at first, but something about the guide's words drew me in. They promised me answers to questions I didn't even know I had, secrets that were hidden from the world above. So, against my better judgment, I agreed to follow their lead. The next thing I knew, I was being bombarded with a series of tasks. Challenges, really. I had to solve riddles, decode messages, all while navigating through the darkest corners of the dark web. It was like a game, but the stakes felt all too real. As I delved deeper into the abyss, things started to get weirder. I found myself surrounded by images and videos that seemed to warp reality itself. I saw things that I can't even begin to describe, horrors beyond comprehension, lurking in the shadows of the internet. But still, I pressed on, driven by a mixture of fear and fascination. I was so close to unlocking the secrets of the abyss, to discovering what lay beyond the veil of the dark web. And then, just when I thought I had reached the end of my journey, I stumbled upon the final challenge. The guide instructed me to enter a chat room, where I would come face to face with the entity that dwelled within the abyss. They warned me that this being was ancient and powerful, beyond anything I could possibly imagine. I hesitated for a moment, my fingers hovering over the keyboard. But then, with a deep breath, I plunged into the chat room, ready to confront whatever awaited me on the other side. And that's when things took a turn for the worse. The chat room was empty, save for a single message from the guide. Welcome to your reckoning. Before I could react, the screen went black and I felt a cold chill run down my spine. And then, with a deafening roar, the abyss consumed me whole. I woke up in a cold sweat, my heart pounding in my chest. It took me a moment to realize that I was back in the real world, safe and sound in my own bed. But as I lay there trying to shake off the lingering sense of dread, I couldn't help but wonder, was it all just a dream? Or had I truly glimpsed into the depths of something far beyond my comprehension? And so, dear reader, I leave you with a warning. Be careful where you tread on the internet, especially in the darkest corners of the dark web. For you never know what horrors may lurk just beyond the screen. The Dark Web Dilemma Have you ever heard of the dark web? 
It's this mysterious corner of the internet where all sorts of shady dealings take place, illegal drug trades, weapon sales, and even more sinister activities. Well, let me tell you about the time I made the worst decision of my life by venturing into the depths of the dark web. It all started one night when I was feeling bored and curious. I had heard rumors about the dark web and its hidden secrets, and I couldn't resist the temptation to see what all the fuss was about. So, armed with nothing more than my laptop and a sense of adventure, I decided to take the plunge and explore this forbidden realm. I fired up my Tor browser and began my journey into the dark web. The interface was clunky and slow, but I pressed on, eager to uncover its secrets. I started with the basics, a few forums here, a couple of marketplaces there, but soon, I found myself delving deeper and deeper into the murky depths of the internet's underbelly. I stumbled upon all sorts of disturbing things, illegal gambling sites, counterfeit goods, even tutorials on how to commit crimes. But none of it seemed to satisfy my curiosity. I wanted to find something truly shocking, something that would make my heart race with fear and excitement. And then, I found it, a website with no name, no description, just a single link that promised access to the darkest secrets of the dark web. I hesitated for a moment, my cursor hovering over the link, but curiosity got the better of me, and I clicked. What I found on the other side was beyond anything I could have imagined. The website was filled with images and videos of unspeakable horrors, gruesome acts of violence, depraved acts of cruelty, and things that no human being should ever have to witness. I felt sick to my stomach as I clicked through the pages, unable to tear my eyes away from the horrors unfolding before me. It was like staring into the abyss, and the abyss was staring back at me. But the worst was yet to come. As I delved deeper into the website, I stumbled upon a section labeled, Live Streams. My heart pounded in my chest as I clicked the link, not knowing what I would find on the other side. What I saw next will haunt me for the rest of my days. It was a live feed of a dark, windowless room, illuminated only by a single flickering light bulb. In the center of the room was a figure, bound and gagged, writhing in agony as unseen tormentors subjected him to unspeakable horrors. I watched in horror as the figure's tormentors laughed and jeered, their faces obscured by masks and shadows. It was like something out of a nightmare, and I couldn't tear my eyes away from the screen, even as bile rose in my throat. I wanted to look away, to close the browser and pretend I had never seen any of it. But something held me captive, rooted to the spot as the horrors unfolded before me. And then, just as suddenly as it had started, the feed cut out, leaving me alone in the darkness of my room. I sat there for what felt like hours, trembling and nauseous, trying to make sense of what I had just witnessed. But there was no sense to be made of it. It was pure evil, plain and simple, and I had stumbled into its clutches like a lamb to the slaughter. I closed the browser and shut down my laptop, vowing never to return to the dark web again. But the images and the sounds haunted my dreams, tormenting me with their cruelty and depravity. I tried to forget, to bury the memories deep down where they couldn't hurt me. But some things are impossible to forget, and the worst decision I ever made will haunt me for the rest of my days. Enjoyed? If you've enjoyed our spine-tingling tales and crave more, don't forget to like, subscribe, and ring the notification bell. Until next time.